coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert, awarded the AMS Seal of Approval by the American Meteorological Society. Well, it's been a busy night here for Storm Team 10, which by the way, Storm Team 10, truly a team. Everett is here. Injuries and I'm here. to drive back. We're going to talk about the weather. But first of all, let me show you the Storm Team 10 storm tracker to let you know what's happening. I can zoom in here and we still have quite a lot of rain. It's just pouring down here in downtown Terre Haute and a rain up here into Park County over into Vermilion County, back over into Edgar County, into Clark County and a little farther to the uh, west here around Charleston. This is the biggest storm I see going on right now. Uh, one of the things that really has been happening uh, with this uh, rainy weather with these storms is the fact that we've had some very heavy amounts of rain still raining at a rate of about 2.74 inches per hour. So with that in mind, we have some flash floods going on and I want to toss it over now to Everett who can bring you up to date about their estimated rainfall and what's going on Everett. That's right, Kevin. We've still got a lot of rain falling across the Wabash Valley. And in fact, we have several flash flood warnings in a couple different parts of the News 10 viewing area. So when you take more graphics, you can see our estimated precipitation totals. And most of this rain has been falling in the northern part of the News 10 viewing area. You look here into northern Clay County, that's the highest radar estimated totals we're seeing. If you see these yellows and oranges, that's where radar is estimating as much as potentially four to five inches of rain has fallen. And most of that just within the last few hours. And of course, rain continues to fall in those areas. So a flash flood warning in effect for Clay Park in Vigo counties until 4 a.m. in the morning. Putnam and Southern Clay County is also going to be added to that warning as well. So there's a lot of rain falling there. And then also over in Coles County, a new flash flood warning just came out. That's going to be in effect until 1:15 Tuesday morning. More than two inches of rain has fallen in those areas as well. So heavy rain is definitely going to be a big concern as we go through the rest of the night. So now we'll take it back to Kevin for more on the forecast. All right, thank you, Everett. And these storms will continue to move through tonight, but I, I can tell you this. We don't have a severe thunderstorm watch in effect at this time, nor do we have any severe thunderstorm warnings in effect at this time. But these storms are still kind of noisy. And as Everett mentioned, and I can tell you as well that we have some really heavy rain coming down. All this is happening as a cold front is trying to move through the News 10 viewing area and it eventually will. And this is all happening because of this front moving in, colliding with a lot of this warm, moist air we have. And so here's one o'clock in the morning. Here's 3 a.m. for the future cast. Here's five o'clock tomorrow morning. Then we get into, well, about the middle part of tomorrow morning and the sky will start to clear out. The any lingering showers will move out and it should turn out to be just a really nice day tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. Precipitation chances just a teeny bit as we get into the first part of the day tomorrow. The temperature trend gradually warmer as we head toward the holiday weekend and we can take a look at the weekend 86 88 88 on Sunday. Maybe a slight chance of rain as we get to Monday, but certainly that possibility of showers and thunderstorms overnight tonight and the pollen forecast will continue to be moderate for tonight. The overnight low drops down to about 68 and that's it. Scattered storms, a gusty southwest breeze, eventually turning to the west northwest. Isolated e early showers tomorrow, 83 for the high. And then for tomorrow night, 55 clear and cool with a gentle northwest breeze. Pretty nice night tomorrow night. And the seven day forecast, Wednesday looks good, 82. Thursday, 85. Friday, 86. Saturday, 88. Sunday, 88. But another little chance of rain by Monday.